Lottie allows you to create awesome animations and use them on websites and apps. So I'm gonna show you how to take a graphic that's created in Adobe Illustrator, then animate in Adobe After Effects, then convert it into a Lottie file, which then can be used on Figma, and then also show you how to realize it on the web. Let's get started. All right, here is my design. Now, the first thing you wanna be sure of is that your design asset is structured properly. My asset only has four layers, but they're all named and it will make your animating life much easier if you do that as well. Next up in After Effects, you want to import that asset. Now, if you save it as an AI or a PSD with layers, you can choose Import as Composition Retain Layer Sizes. This will create a layer in After Effects for each layer that's found in your file. That way you can animate stuff individually. So here's the composition created with our four layers. Now, Lottie files can get really large, so you want to keep the sequence short, like a few seconds long. Mine here is three or so seconds. Now, the way I'm going to animate each layer is by using a rectangular mask. You can simply select the layer, draw a rectangle, and it will reveal or hide the selected layer's contents based on where you drew the mask. In After Effects, you can create keyframes in order to animate the mask's path. Isn't that freaking awesome? Yeah, so that's how we're going to animate each segment of this logo mark. Cue the music. Isn't that awesome? Now, to reverse the effect, I will simply copy and paste each layer's keyframe and swap the positions of the first and last keyframe to create a reverse animation. Now, here's the final effect that would make your father stop resenting you. He would be that proud. Now, after you install the free After Effects Lottie plugin linked in the description below, just open up the plugin, select the composition, and hit the play button. Then save the damn thing already. I mean, come on. Now here we are in Figma. I'm going to show you how to get your shiny new animation in Figma. It's stupidly simple. I'm not even sure why I'm showing you this. After installing the Lottie Files Figma plugin, you open the thing up and then open the JSON file that you saved from the Lottie plugin in After Effects. Then you click on the GIF option, which will then give you that animation that makes your grandmother so happy. Now at this point, you click Add to Figma, and voila, you're ready to rock. After a little bit of prototyping, your result should end up looking something like this. Now, here's how to get that animation that will get you all the chicks up and running on your website. Now, link below is this code generator for Lottie. Use the same settings and copy the code output, and then, of course, paste it in the document. Now, you wanna make sure you change the attribute that contains the JSON file with your own snazzy JSON file, which is hosted here in the same directory as my-mark.json. Now, after a little bit of vanilla ice ice baby JavaScript, your project should now be realized on the web. Now, at this point, you can put it in your portfolio and you should gain so many fat stacks of cash that you'll be at the Lambo store by week's end. All right, everybody, hopefully you found that interesting. If you did, check out designcourse.com for my interactive UI UX design course. Also, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.